Welcome to Nintendo K Channel, I am Danny. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is an imaginative platforming game that infuses new ideas to a classic series. Its wonderful worlds are full of imagination and creativity for all to enjoy. With this new entry in the Super Mario Bros. series, it brought new gameplay possibilities with badges. These badges will give you new powers that can completely change the way you play the game as you go through the Flower Kingdom. In this episode, I will show you how to get all the badges in the game. Be aware that this guide is quite extensive and there's a lot to go through. But as you're watching, if you find it helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more guides like this to help you in your venture. So without further ado, let's get right into it. In Super Mario Bros. Wonder, there are a total of 24 badges to unlock and collect. I will be breaking down this guide by each game world in which you unlock the badges contained therein. Starting with World 1, Pipe Rock Plateau, you can get your first badge simply by visiting the badge house in Pipe Rock Plateau. Just go through the dialogue with Prince Florian and Poplin, and you'll be presented with the Parachute Cap badge. Go towards the right and just complete the training ground to get familiar with your first badge. To get the next badge, head to the Poplin shop. Here you will need to purchase it using 30 flower coins as payment. Present 30 flower coins and the coin reward badge is now yours. Close by, there should be a Wiggler Racing Mountaineering level. You can unlock it by presenting 10 Wonder Seeds. Complete that level by racing and reaching the goal before the Racing Wiggler. By beating the Wiggler in a race, it will give you the Auto Super Mushroom badge. This is one I use quite often and comes handy. The next badge you can unlock in World 1 is by going through and complete the Badge Challenge Wall Climb Jump 1. Once you successfully complete it, you'll be gifted with the Wall Climb Jump badge. Now on to the last badge of World 1. For this to work, the Elephant Mario Power Up is needed. Play until you reach the Bull Rush Express level. Go through the course and reach to the end when you reach the Wonder Seed. Do not go through the warp pipe. Instead, use Elephant Mario's trunk to clear the block path full of bricks. Clear the course with this alternate route will open up a new path. From here on, just clear the next two levels which being Sproings in the Twilight Forest and Cosmic Hoppos. When you successfully complete those two levels, it should open up the Expert Badge Challenge Jet Run 1. So go through with the challenge and that should unlock the Jet Run Badge. Once you reach the Pipe Rock Plateau Palace, defeat the boss there, a path to Petal Isles will open. There you will have the opportunity to unlock the next badge by completing the badge challenge, Dolphin Kick 1. As a reward for successfully completing this challenge, you will be gifted the Dolphin Kick badge. Continue on Petal Isle, you will need to go through a level with Piranha Plant guarding it, which will unlock with enough Wonder Seeds to be Robert Cove. Completing that level will reveal a branching path. Head to the left with the Poplin Shop. There you can purchase the Add Blocks badge for 10 flower coins that will unlock for use. On to World 2, Fluff Puff Peaks. Here you need to complete the badge challenge, Floating High Jump 1. After successfully completing the challenge, you will be rewarded with the Floating High Jump badge. The next badge is a simple one to obtain. Simply play until you have access to the Poplin Shop on World 2 and just purchase the Safety Bounce Badge for 100 Flower Coins. The next badge will require you to go through and complete the Jump 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 level. Get through that and it will open up a path to the Expert Badge Challenge Spring Feet 1. Successfully complete the challenge here and you're rewarded with the Spring Feet Badge. Alright, moving to World 3, Shining Falls. With enough Wonder Seeds, here you will need to open up the level. Poof! Badge Challenge, Crouching High Jump 1. Go through with the challenge successfully, and you will end up with the Crouching High Jump Badge Unlocked. The path to the next badge will come after your playthrough to the end of World 3 when you receive the Royal Seed from Master Poplin. After that, you'll be transported back to the Petal Isles, and will be given the choice to freely enter the Sunbaked Desert, Fungi Mines, and Deep Magma Bog. From here, you'll want to keep heading south and clear a couple levels along the way to open a path to the next badge. Levels will include Jewel Block Cave, Petal Isle Flying Battleship, and Maw Maw Mouthful toward the west when you reach this sandy area. When you arrive on the island gateway to Castle Bowser, 
Head to the bash challenge, boosting spin jump one. Complete this challenge and you'll be rewarded with a boosting spin jump badge. I want to mention that you can also earn the same respective badge from higher difficulty badge challenges. This rule works with all badges that can be obtained by badge challenges. For example, you can earn the boosting spin jump badge from the badge challenge boosting spin jump 2 instead of 1. Trekking to world 4, sun baked desert. When you first arrive here, you can head directly to the poplin shop and make your purchase of the timed high jump badge for 100 flower coins. With the next badge, you'll need to open up the path before accessing it. Head up the stairs and you need to successfully play through the valley full of snoodles level. Get through it and a new path will open up. Make your way across the bridge and make a roundabout leading to a hidden poplin shop. Here you can unlock the Fast Dash badge by purchasing it with 10 flower coins. Moving across to the other side, you will encounter a poplin that will hint you on the location of the next badge involving ninja dancers being under the hill behind an oasis. Close by the first poplin shop mentioned earlier, you will find an oasis. Get close to the falling sand and you'll hear drum beats and reveal a hidden level, Ninja Jump Party. Successfully go through the level and you'll receive the Rhythm Jump Badge as the prize. The final badge in this world is a bit more involved to reveal its destination. What you want to do is head into the secrets of the Shova Mansion level. Go through the level normally, but once you get to this area here, combine the split doors and enter it. Clear the bricks and then roll the platform into the glowing floor indentation. This will trigger a golden warp pipe to appear. Entering this path will allow you to bypass the normal flagpole to reach an alternative hidden flagpole. Clearing the level this way will open up the path to the Expert Badge Challenge Invincibility 1. It is here that you want to complete the challenge to unlock the Invincibility Badge. Moving away from the hot desert brings you into World 5, Fungi Mines. When you first enter the area, simply talk to the Poplin straight ahead. The conversation will lead to mentioning about fixing the bridge. Provide 10 flower coins and that will start the bridge repair job as well as Poplin giving you the sensor badge. The next badge will require you to play until you reach the badge challenge grappling vine 1 level. Just go through with it and complete this challenge and you will unlock the grappling vine badge. We have now arrived to world 6, Deep Magma Bog. Here you just need to progress until you reach the Poplin shop in the area. By now you should know the routine. Pay Poplin 300 flower coins and that will get you the coin magnet badge unlocked. The next set of badges will require you to go through Bowser's castle and defeat Bowser in the final battle, Bowser's Rage Stage. Defeating him on your first playthrough will bring you back to World 1 and Prince Florian will let you know that the Poplin shop has new badges for sale. So from here on, you can go to any Poplin shop in the game and you can purchase the All Elephant Power, All Fire Power, all bubble power and lastly the all drill power badges for 100 flower coins each. Alright from here on it's the long stretch to obtain the last badge. It will require extensive and masterful play to achieve. Just a fair warning it will be arduous and may be difficult to unlock but if you're persistent and played enough I believe you can earn it. Yes you can do it. So knowing that, to unlock the last badge, you must fulfill a couple of things during your play of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Starting from the top, you will need to hit the top of the flagpole on every level in the game. Second, you need to get every single Wonder Seed and Flower Coin in every level of the game. Third, you must complete every level in the special world as well as hitting the same requirements mentioned earlier in these levels which includes hitting the top of their flagpoles and collecting every wonder seed and flower coins. Here is a quick tip. Press the L button on your controller and head into the courses menu. You will know you completely hit all the mentioned goals for each individual level by seeing a green check mark on them. For those that are wondering how to access these special world levels, I will be going over on how you can access them from each world. I will be building on top of what was explained earlier in this video with the assumption that you obtained the earlier badges mentioned. Starting from world 1 when you first unlock the Jet Run badge from the Expert Badge Challenge Jet Run 1, 
It also opened up the path to the Pipe Rock Plateau special Bounce 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 Special World level. In World 2, previously clearing the Expert Badge Challenge Spring Feet 1, will open up the path to the Fluff Puff Peak special climb to the beat in the special world. Onward to World 3, this one's a bit different. We previously mentioned of obtaining the world seed here at the end of your run in this world. What you need to do now is head back there and talk to Master Poplin. He will then mention about opening a legendary secret path for you. That will be the path to the Shining Falls special triple threat deluge on the special world. Continue to world 4 when you previously visited and cleared the expert badge challenge Invincibility 1. That automatically opened up your route to the Sunbaked Desert Special Pole Block Allure level in the Special World. In World 5, with the assumption you have already received the Royal Seed by saving the Poplins in the Operation Poplin Rescue level, you will need to play it again to save the Poplins a second time. This will unlock an alternate path to the left, leading you to the Fungi Mine Special Dangerous Donut Ride level in the Special World. Lastly, in World 6, Deep Magma Bog, head to the lower level of the world. Make your way westward and go through and complete the 5 levels along the way. This will eventually open up the path to the special world with the Deep Magma Bog special, Solar Roller level. Alright, let's get some fresh air on Petal Isle, right outside of the gateway to World 6, Deep Magma Bog. You should encounter the regular race spelunking level as part of your normal progression in the game. Completing this level will ultimately open up the path to the Petal Isle's special way of the Goomba on the Special World. At the center of the Special World platform, with 6 Special World Wonder Seeds, unlock and play through the semi-final Test Piranha Plant Reprise level. Completing it will open up the final Test Wonder Gauntlet level. Now unlock this level with 16 Special World Wonder Seeds and successfully go through it. Once you successfully hit all the mentioned requirements, it is then you open up the path to play the final Final Test Badge Marathon level. Before heading to this course, I highly suggest you stock up on lives. You can easily purchase 99 lives by visiting any Poplin store. This option is only available once you first beat Bowser on your first playthrough. Alternatively, I did put out a guide on how you can get the max 99 lives fast right from the very beginning of the game. The link to that video will be available down below in the video description and at the end of this video if you're interested. This will be the most difficult level you'll play in the entire game. It will put your skills, determination, and wit to the test. Once you successfully survive through it all and clear the final final test, it is only then you officially unlock the sound off badge. I will leave the rest to you on discovering what this secret badge is all about. From here on, you have unlocked all badges in Super Mario Bros. Wonder and congratulations! If you have reached this point in the video, I want to thank you very much. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more helpful tips like this coming your way. I am Danny from Nintendo K Channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode.